All right. What's going on, everyone? I'm the S Roller. Um, let's start with part two of this DVD and Blu-ray update. So I've got uh, 20 titles, 15 titles or so to get through. Let's just get started. Um, picked this one up at Family Video for two bucks, and that's the the Wickaburro Instrument. I think that's how you pronounce them, Wickaburro. Close enough. This one's pretty much about this uh, town in Texas that just vanished off the map and no one knew what happened to it, just disappeared. And it's about this this one guy who um, comes out and tells a story about what really happened to the town and the stories and the horrors that he had to go through to really find out what was happening. So, I don't know. I enjoyed it. it was a, it's a fun little documentary type sci-fi, I guess, kind of type movie. Probably check this one out. It was definitely interesting. You know, I always like to check out these weird documentaries that come out. Next, I picked up uh, Shadow of the Vampire. This was two bucks at the pawn shop. Um, my film teacher showed us a clip of this when we watched Nafaratu, so definitely had to pick this up. Definitely sounded an interesting concept for a movie. I mean, I like those movies about pretty much basing a movie of making a movie, so definitely looking forward to watching this one. One I've been really wanting to check out for a long time for two bucks. I cannot pass this one up. Right, next, it's another one I know came out on Blu-ray, but for two bucks, had to pick up the, uh, the Platinum Series Edition 7. Really cool set. Um, for two bucks, had to pick it up, you know, I'm not going to pass it up. It's cool, it looks like a notebook, opens it up, has notes and stuff. It's a really cool set. It has some, tells you what's on the disc and stuff, and for two bucks... I'm not gonna, not gonna, definitely not gonna say no to that, so, definitely, definitely an awesome movie, Most, a lot of people have seen this too, so I'm not gonna get into details with it, but, this is a really awesome movie, definitely check this one out, this one was good, this is, uh, St. John of Las Vegas with, uh, Steve Buscemi, it has, uh, Sarah Silverman in it, I really like Steve Buscemi, I think he's, he's a really good actor, and I really enjoy this, um, pretty much story about this guy, just played by Steve Buscemi, who is out on his luck, and he's a compulsive gambler. You know, he spends so much money on lottery tickets and everything that he's trying to just stop gambling. And then he leaves Vegas, but then his insurance company that works for sends him back to find a false claim that's been going on with this one car. The whole story is just about him going back to Vegas and having to pretty much fight the urges of gambling and his story along the way. Definitely a good one. Then got this for two bucks at Family Video. I, I definitely recommend this one. This is this was a fun one and for two bucks. It's an 85 minute movie. It's a quick one just to pop in and enjoy for. All right, it's another one for two bucks. Maniatics. I I buy all these stupid ass horror movies that probably suck, but I need I needed to find two flicks for four bucks, so I just picked this picked this one up off the shelf. It's made by Red Rum Entertainment. Oh, that's original. But uh, I really don't know what this one's about. I know it's about serial killers, and it's just about it. I really didn't read the back that much. I just thought it's a horror flick, and for two bucks been sitting there for a while so I picked it up. I really don't know. I was really excited about this one that they had for two bucks and that's Maniac Cop. I love Maniac. I mean it's another Bill Lux stick film. You know I'm a huge Bill Lux stick fan. I met him a few months ago. He's just a really cool guy. This is one I've been wanting to check out for a really long time and for two bucks I had, had to go on and pick it up. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to watching ASAP, pretty much. 
So, um, I'll probably pop this one in tomorrow and give it a watch. Bruce Campbell's in it, so... It's gonna be really awesome. I can't wait to watch this. It's Maniac Cop. I know I showed this one, these last two, my last update, but like I said, I, I uploaded it wrong, so... That's the way it's gonna be. That's Lake Mungo. I don't know. This is a horror, after horror fest for so it's pretty much about this girl that drowns in a, like a dam slash river and her body is found and it's said that it's accidental but some people think that it's not so it's pretty much just about that. If it was a, like serial killer it was just, she jumped in the lake and killed herself or whatever. I don't know, for two bucks, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. two more. This is uh, Kill Theory. It's another uh, horror fest flick. If you don't know, you know, teenagers go to a cabin and fuck and get drunk and stuff and then somebody comes and kills them one by one, you know. You've seen it a million times. For two bucks, sure. <laughs> I picked this one up at a uh, at a family owned film store in downtown Chicago and I, I was going what the hell is this and that's Horror House on Highway 5 I think this is, this is an ultimate cheese fest film that's pretty much made on in someone's basement pretty much and it's, uh, it's supposed to be a cult classic and it's 173 minutes long so I really have no idea what the fuck they had to do to make this 173 minutes long but I'm that looks so weird. I don't even know what to think about it. Um, the back. I just... I, I don't know what to think about this one. I'm really speechless on this one. I, I, it looks really just, really just weird. And, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to watch this when I get 173 minutes worth of time. So, I don't know, there's some trailers on YouTube. It looks just really hilariously bad. But in a good way. So, definitely looking forward to checking this one out. So, uh, I should have enough for one more video, maybe two, so, um, I'll talk to you guys again in a little bit.